NFTs have been making all sorts of headlines, but for the wrong reasons. Just recently, I talked about the reports out there that the NFT market is starting to collapse with data showing that the general interest and the general amount of trading surrounding NFTs just not looking anywhere as good as it was during its peak. There's just been a huge downwards trend that may suggest NFTs won't last much longer if the path continues to be that of an environment that is rife with scams, with crimes, with theft. And speaking of theft, the latest story surrounds Bored Ape Yacht Club, which is one of the most popular NFT brands out there and among the most highly valued of NFTs. Well, folks who purchase these apes, all of their non-fungible tokens were gone as hackers infiltrated Instagram and managed to trick a number of users into submitting information that allowed hackers to gain access to their NFTs and extract them. So this is The Verge's coverage whose headline reads, Thief steals a million dollars of Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs with Instagram hack. Here is another report from New Salad The Guardian who says that it's actually three million dollars worth of NFTs. Hack on Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs leads to three million dollars Simeon Oblivion, latest mass theft of digital art assets is carried out by phishing post on Instagram. And last but not least, we got this report from PC Gamer, whose headline reads, NFT board ape marketplace gets hacked, people lose millions in ape pictures. Truly, this is monkey business. I'm going to take a look at PC Gamer's article which uh, did a good job of summarizing this whole situation. It reads right here that the Bored Ape Yacht Club was hacked on Monday. As of the publishing of this article, I believe that'd be April 25th, 2022. The article continues, Bored Ape Yacht Club's Instagram page and Discord were hacked and the culprit sent out messages on both about a new mint of NFTs and what's called a land sale, it does not involve land, to pilfer ape holders' wallets. Many consumers were suckered by the official seeming messages, however, and clicked on a link connecting their wallet which then transferred its AP contents to the hackers. This is like the double your money scam in every MMO ever, except it's somehow even dumber. That same day on April 25th, 2022, Board Ape Yacht Club did confirm that they were hacked with the following tweet that reads, there is no mint going on today. It looks like B-A-Y-C. Instagram was hacked. Do not mint anything. Click links or link your wallet to anything. But it was too little too late at this point and or the message hadn't spread to everyone and enough people fell for this phishing scam that this whole situation made headlines. The end result being that many Bored Ape fans seem to have had their crypto wallets cleaned out by the hackers. One of the key selling points of NFTs is that they are non-fungible, that you truly own them and whatnot, but they're so easy to steal. It's so easy to hack an NFT marketplace and deprive it of its uh, blockchain NFTs that the term non-fungible is kind of a joke at this stage. Here's a statement from Board Ape Yacht Club. This morning, the official BAYC Instagram account was hacked. The hacker posted a fraudulent link to a copycat of the BAYC website with a fake airdrop where users were prompted to sign a safe transfer from transaction. This transferred their assets to the scammer's wallet. Additionally, Board Ape Yacht Club wrote the following statement to Motherboard. Yuga Labs and Instagram are currently investigating how the hacker was able to gain access to the account. We're still investigating. Rough estimated losses due to the scam are four Board Apes, six Mutant Apes, and three BAKC, as well as assorted other NFTs estimated at a total value of roughly $3 million. We're actively working to establish contact with affected users. Now, while this specific story isn't directly tied to gaming, it is my belief that NFTs as a whole currently are becoming synonymous with gaming because of how hard game publishers and game companies are pushing to normalize them in video games. And with NFTs currently being in their infant stage in the gaming landscape, I think it's important to assess what's going on with the NFT scene outside of gaming so we can potentially assess how certain concerns could apply to the gaming landscape should NFTs become more and more normalized. And chief among the concerns 
is the fact that NFTs are so easily stolen. And beyond this latest NFT heist from April 25th, we've also got reports from a few days prior, from April 4th, 2022, from this Twitter user who said, today board ape holder S27 lost their bubblegum ape and matching mutants $567,000 at current floors in an instant. This is a threat on how it happened and how to prevent something similar from happening to you. And you can read this for yourself if you so desire. But yeah, NFT theft is a constant thing to the point where it's become a meme. If you go to knowyourmeme.com, there's an entry for all my apes are gone, referencing a tweet by a user named Todd Kramer, who posted this on December 30th, 2021. I've been hacked. All my apes gone. This just sold. Please help me. And as I've mentioned before, some of these highs result in not just a couple million dollars getting stolen, but tens to hundreds of millions. Here we have an instance from back in January 2022. The Vice.com headline here reads Crypto.com says incident was actually $30 million hack. Yeah, just a minor little incident. You know, it happens. Casual $30 million getting stolen. Here's another headline from just last month from April 20th, 2022 from New Salad, The Guardian. The headline here reads, Techscape, how a cryptocurrency project lost $180 million to a get-rich-quick scheme. In this week's newsletter, Beanstalk held hundreds of millions of dollars worth of stable assets until one lone attacker quickly, maybe even legally, bankrupted the scheme in minutes. Scrolling further down, we have a description on how exactly this attack was carried out. A still unidentified attacker had borrowed $80 million in cryptocurrency and deposited it in the project silo, gaining enough voting rights in exchange to be able to pass any proposal instantly. With that power, they voted to transfer the contents of the treasury to themselves, then returned the voting rights, withdrew their money, and repay the loan all in a matter of seconds. This kind of scheme is especially made possible by the cryptocurrency landscape. Through more traditional means, this would be a totally ineffective get-rich-quick scheme. But in crypto, well, it's proven quite effective against this specific entity. From there, we have a cryptocurrency heist that led to $322 million of cryptocurrency getting stolen, as reported by Business Insider here. Wormhole's token bridge was hacked on February 2nd, and hackers stole Solana tokens worth $322 million. If you think it doesn't get bigger than that, oh, it absolutely does. Crypto highs are not just a recent thing. It's been going on for years now with this article from New Salad Wired from back in March 3rd, 2014 reporting on a story involving Bitcoin's $460 million disaster. Hackers had stolen the equivalent of $460 million from its online coffers. And as cryptocurrency has become more mainstream and more hyped, of course, the attacks are only getting more intense and more clever as there is a lot of money to be gained with a successful crypto heist. $460 million isn't even the biggest of crypto and NFT heists. Here we have a report from news outlet Forbes from back in late March 2022, whose headline reads, Second biggest crypto hack ever, $600 million in Ether stolen from NFT gaming blockchain. Now, this is a heist that does, in fact, concern gaming, given that this is an NFT gaming blockchain we're talking about here. And it's not as if the games industry has painted a confidence picture when it comes to how good they are at protecting themselves from hacks and breaches. This is an article from March 14th, 2022. Cybersecurity incident, which is the word that corporations like to use to underplay a major fiasco, at Ubisoft disrupts operations, forces company-wide password reset. This was reported by a number of outlets. Here's another headline from the Hacker News. Gaming company Ubisoft confirms it was hacked, sets staff passwords. EA, you may recall, got hacked pretty majorly last year back in June of 2021. Gaming giant hacked and source code stolen. In a response statement, EA emphasized that this incident is not going to affect players, that whatever data was stolen wouldn't be enough to allow these hackers to access players' personal data and private information. But the fact that such a hack was allowed to happen, and if you look into the story, you'll know that the hackers didn't even really do anything fancy. They breached some rather pretty compromised security. Still paints the negative picture that for these companies, protection of users' data is just not as high of a priority as it should be. We also, of course, have to mention the C Project Red breach that resulted in source code of various CD Project Red projects leaking as well as 
information of employees and whatnot. Cyberpunk 2077 developer says its hacked data is circulating online, including data related to its games and employees. When hacks and data breaches are happening this often in the gaming landscape, do you really want to trust them with NFTs? Do you really want to trust that hackers won't invade these game companies and wipe out your NFT and crypto purchases, especially when this is something that's already happened as reported here by The Verge back in March 29th, 2022. A hacker stole $625 million from the blockchain behind NFT game Axie Infinity, which is reporting on the same story that this Forbes article that I previously showed did second biggest crypto hack ever. In the gaming landscape already, we're seeing the second biggest NFT crypto heist ever, second only to this one right here from back in August 2021, which Forbes reported on with the following headline, more than $600 million stolen in Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies, marking one of crypto's biggest hacks ever. So the question has to be asked, do the masses actually want to put money and invest in an environment where crap like this happens constantly where crypto heists and hacks and thefts are commonplace and more specifically do players and gamers want to see video games turn into essentially investment opportunities where security isn't really taken seriously enough and where it is entirely possible that your investments and purchases may get completely wiped in this environment that's rife with scams crimes and theft is this where we want to head towards, especially when NFTs offer no real new advantages or benefits on the player or consumer end. All they offer is another monetization avenue for these companies who don't know the word enough. Cryptocurrency and NFTs are so exploitable currently that you've got North Korean gangs laundering their money through cryptocurrency. They have been pretty successful at it, having laundered 17% of their $600 million haul as of the reporting of this article. And that is without mentioning the fact that not only do NFTs themselves get stolen, but NFTs are also used as a means to steal artwork and music and whatnot to claim ownership and try to make money off of other people's assets and work. There are so many unresolved issues with blockchain and NFTs, and there are so little benefits that they ultimately provide aside from opportunists who are able to exploit this to essentially come up with their Ponzi schemes. So if you ask me, it's no wonder that as reported recently, NFT sales are flatlining and the NFT market is collapsing, at least based on the latest data. Until the day comes that blockchain and NFTs can be regulated enough that there is less room for scams and thefts and crimes like these. And until NFTs actually begin offering some kind of benefit, which companies cannot seem to be able to detail anytime they're asked, there's just no room for NFTs to be normalized, especially in video games. The cons far outweigh the pros, and not to mention that the blockchain landscape and NFTs as a whole are rife with con jobs. And it's not as if gaming companies aren't aware of any of this, they just don't care about their customers and players because we are just cattle that they intend to milk. Who cares what happens to that cattle as long as they're able to find ways to milk the cattle at their expense, regardless of how players and customers, regardless of how the cattle might be harmed. That's the way of the corporation. There is so much shady stuff going around blockchain and NFTs currently that if you ask me, any company that tries to promote them and present them as a very positive thing without highlighting the myriad negative elements going on are in no way, shape or form in any sort of moral high ground. They are just scumbags seeking to exploit. But at the end of the day, that is one man's take. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on the latest developments surrounding cryptocurrency and NFT heists and how that informs your opinion on the NFT landscape and what you see the future holding for this uh, blockchain environment that plenty of people are dissenting against. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.